In this lesson, we'll learn how to connect multiple CMS lists together so that clicking or hovering on items in one list connect to the items in the other list. Let's get started. We'll be using the CMS list sync power up for this. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. First, let's copy the code and let's add it to the before closing body tag of our page or project settings. The first thing we need to define is our component, which is a div that holds our related collection list together. We'll give it the attribute name of TR list sync element and a value of component. I have this first section on my page that holds a couple collection lists. I'll go ahead and give it that attribute name and that value of component, and it can contain one, two, three, or however many collection lists we'd like inside of it. They'll all be synced up. We also have the second section here that has a couple collection lists. I've given this the value of component as well. So we have two instances on this page. Inside of our component, we have our collection list elements, and these need a attribute name of TR list sync element and a value of list. And then we'll go ahead and apply that to the collection list element inside of our sections. So let's give it that value of list on this one. We'll select the second collection list and let's go ahead and give that one a value of list as well. And then inside our second section on the page, we have two more collection lists and they each have a value of list. By default, our items only become active when we click on them, but there's some optional settings we can apply to our component. And one of them is to make one item in each list active on page load automatically. So to do that, we'll copy the TR list sync on load name, and we wanna apply this setting to our component. It will affect all list inside. We'll set the value to true, so one item's active on page load. We also wanna change which item's active. By default, it'll be the first one, item with an index of zero, but we can change the active index. And so I'll go ahead and copy this setting, apply this to the component, and we'll do active index of one so that the second items highlight it. So when we click on a collection item, it's gonna add a combo class of is active to that item and a combo class of is active to all other related collection items inside our component. And that's the default class it adds. But for the second instance down here, we actually wanna add a class of is open instead. So to do that, we can customize this with our attributes that we apply to the component. We can apply a custom active class. So we'll select our second component here and we'll apply an optional setting of TR list sync active class and we'll do is open for the class it should add. Lastly, we can customize how items in each of our list behave with optional settings we apply to each list. So by default, the class will switch whenever we click on any item, but to disable class switch when clicking on an item, we just apply the setting to the list of list link click and a value of false. So this list of images here, we don't want clicking on them to do anything. So we'll select the collection list, we'll apply click false, and then clicking on them won't do anything. In the second list here, we want it to not only trigger on click, but also on hover in, switch the class, and on hover out, remove the class. So we'll select the second collection list. We'll apply an enable hover in. So we'll set hover in to true, and that'll be an optional setting we can apply to this list. And then in that same spirit, we have hover out true, um, and that'll basically just remove the class whenever we hover out of items that are inside this list. So let's publish it and try it out. So by default, the second item in each of these lists is highlighted on page load. Clicking on these items switches the class and clicking on these items doesn't do anything. In this list here, we can hover in to add the class and we can hover out to remove the class and nothing was active on page load. So that wraps up how to sync up your collection list together in Webflow.